Hello, boys and girls. Mr. Palace here. I got my jacket on today with segments because we're going to be learning about centipedes. The name of the story is called Leggy Centipedes. Super creepy, but we're diving into our insects and we're going to learn about another one today. Long and leggy. Centipedes are small animals with long, thin bodies. Their name means 100 legs. People gave them this name because centipedes look like they must have many legs. No centipede has exactly 100 legs, however. Some have fewer legs and some have even more legs. Super creepy. I'm getting chills just thinking about these guys. All right, so how many legs? There are about 3,000 kinds of centipedes. Now, do you guys see the house centipede where it says 15 pairs of legs? I used to see the centipede a lot when I worked in the Bronx. And when you get into the classroom in the morning, you know, the sink would be like a, kind of a damp area and the lights would be off and we'd see that. And uh, the students would see that and they say, Mr. Pass, what is that? They think it is a cockroach. And I said, no, that's actually a type of centipede. Um, so we're going to learn later on in the story if actually cockroaches are, are related to centipedes or if maybe other insects are. But the house centipede is very similar. You might have seen it, um, you know, maybe in the woods in a damp area. Okay. So uh, the different kinds have different numbers of legs. Some centipedes, has, some centipedes have as few as 15 pairs of legs. Others have more than 200 pairs. So the tiger centipede has 21 pairs of legs. I think if they're saying 21 pairs, that means double. So 21 plus 21 equals 42. Got it. So 42 legs. Uh, centipede with 15 pairs of legs has a total of 30 legs. Uh, the soil centipede has 38 pairs of legs. This one's tough because it's transferring, but let's see if anyone can do it. So if I had 36 pairs of legs, how many legs does it have in total? Anyone get it? 76. It's a lot of legs. And there's a stone centipede with 15 pairs of legs. That should be a little bit easier. So if they had 15 pairs of legs, how many legs in total? Try this here. 30. Good job. All right. Parts of the body. A centipede's body has two main parts, a head and a trunk. A head has two large antennas attached. The centipede uses them for feeding and smelling. The trunk is made up of many small parts called segments, like my jacket. See, I got my jacket here. Segments like a centipede, just for you guys. Each segment has a pair of legs attached. So we can see the diagram of the trunk, legs, head, antenna, segments. And then it says, a centipede's body also has a hard covering called an exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. The exoskeleton protects the centipede's soft insides. So like we have our skeleton on the inside of our body. They have the skeleton on their outside of their body and then they have like soft insides inside. Pretty gross. All right. A world of centipedes. Centipedes live in most parts of the world. Some live in places that have cold winters. Others live in places that are warm all year round. The largest kind, such as a Peruvian giant centipede, lives in hot, rainy forests. I want to go to Peru. They can be up to 12 inches, 30 centimeters long. Now, 12 inches, as we know, is a foot. That's pretty big for an insect. All right. Most centipedes are less than one inch. Well, that's comforting to know. And the Peruvian giant centipede. Look how big he is on that stick. All right. Day and night. Centipedes need to spend their days in damp, shady places or else their bodies will dry out. Fascinating to know. They hide under leaves between rocks and in tree bark. At night, the air around them becomes cooler and less dry. That's when the long-legged creatures come out and hunt for food. Some kinds of centipedes live in hot, dry deserts. Like all other kinds, they survive by hiding from the sun and heat during the day and coming out only at night. And this is the giant desert centipede its color scheme is kind of cool i like the yellow legs with the brown and the, and the black at the end i think that's kind of cool catching a meal huh the first two legs 
of the centipede's body are different from the rest. Each one is really a poison claw. Oh, they got poison. Like we learned about from the scorpion and the black widow spider. The centipede also has poison. The centipedes use the claws to catch and kill the small animals that it eats. You can see the poison claws right there. They look you know, turned in, look dangerous. First, it grabs an animal and sends poison through its claws into the victim's body. Then the centipede holds the victim and starts biting off pieces. This is straight out of a horror movie. All right, so we see the centipede here wrapped up on a mouse. Now, when I was thinking of a centipede eating something, I was thinking of something small, maybe like a worm or like a small bug, but a mouse. All right, centipedes eat worms, insects, and spiders. The largest kind sometimes eat lizards, frogs, mice, and birds. Huh. Okay. Escaping enemies. So we got the owl has a centipede in its mouth. The scorpion has a centipede. And the fire ants, which we learned about as well. And then we have a shrew. Looks like he's chowing down on a centipede. So let's see how they escape. Scorpions, shoes, and many kinds of birds and insects like to eat centipedes. Some of these animals look for the leggy creature when they come out at night to hunt. Others try to find the centipedes in their daytime hiding places. Usually, the centipede uses their many legs to try to run away quickly. Okay, so run away with their little legs. When they cannot escape, they use their poison claws, which we talked about earlier, to defend themselves, giving the enemy a painful bite. Ooh. All right, so we got a shrew. Looks kind of cute. I would say it's probably in the rodent family, it looks like. Looks similar to a mole. Maybe similar to a groundhog as well. Okay. So some centipedes defend themselves with the help of a liquid they store in their bodies. So on top of these poison claws, on top of all these legs where they can run away, they have a liquid in their bodies. And the liquid makes them smell bad and taste so bad that enemies don't want to eat them. So, wow, lots of defenses for the centipede. Poison claws, legs to run away and then a stinky liquid that makes them smell and taste bad. Lots of eggs. Female centipedes lay lots of eggs. When the baby centipedes hatch, they look very different from the adults. They are much smaller and much lighter in color. Most kinds also start out with fewer pairs of legs. There's the eggs and it's protecting it, as you can see. Some female centipedes stay with their eggs to keep them safe from hungry enemies. Others bury them under a bit of soil to keep them hidden until they hatch. There's a young centipede. Wow, they look all white. You can kind of see through them. Transparent. All grown up. Okay. As young centipedes get bigger, they outgrow their exoskeletons. So the centipedes molt, shedding their old coverings and forming new ones that are bigger and darker. With each molt, another important change takes place. The centipede grows new segments and new pairs of legs. After many molts, they are fully grown. The little creatures have all their legs and are ready to begin their adult lives. So that's the old exoskeleton. You can see it's kind of like gray almost, and then the new one has more colors on it. Um, some kinds of centipedes already have all their segments and legs when they hatch. They simply grow bigger and darker with each molt. You can see its eyes. Looks angry. A world of invertebrates. Here are four animals that are related to centipedes. Oh, we were talking about this before, where I was asking if I wonder if they're related to cockroaches. Let's see. Like centipedes, they are all invertebrates. So the pill millipede. Oh, we send that little pill bug. It kind of rolls up in a ball. So they're in the same family. Um, the flat-backed millipede. Okay, um, the symphalin is also related, and the parapod is also related to the centipede. An animal that has a skeleton with a backbone inside his body is a vertebrate. Mammal, mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, and amphibians are all vertebrates. We've got that backbone from our neck down our back. An animal that does not have a skeleton with a backbone inside his body is called an invertebrate. More than 95% of all kinds of animals on Earth are invertebrates. Huh. 
Some invertebrates, such as insects and spiders, have hard skeletons called exoskeletons on the outside of their bodies. Other invertebrates, such as worms and jellyfish, have soft, squishy bodies with no exoskeletons to protect them. So we got a glass right here. Uh, we got antennas. The body parts on a centipede's head used for feeling and smelling. A lot going on there. Uh, we have backbone, a group of connected bones that run along the backs of some animals, such as dogs, cats, and fish, also called the spine. We have segments, strip-shaped parts of a centipede's trunk. And then we have the trunk, which is the part of the centipede's body behind the head. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the centipede. Super creepy. Got my segments. Um, but we're going to learn about a lot more insects. All right, boys and girls. I'll see you soon.